let me get right to it. I think that this merger, as I said on our show, is terrific for customers and for shareholders. There is a perspective in Washington that perhaps any mergers are anti-competitive. But you showed me, without a doubt, the possibility on the eve of a Fed meeting that you could help bring the cost of food down to many Americans. Yeah, absolutely. If you look at our track record over the last uh, over 10 years, we've reduced prices uh, for customers year after year after year. It's just part of our strategy. Uh, the merger also uh, provides good, solid union jobs and more job security, and it really allows us to compete against uh, those large uh, non-union competitors. So we think it's a win for our customers. We think it's a win for our associates and a win for the communities that we're in as well. Now, I know that synergy is an overused word, but when I look at the two companies combined, I see possibility of things like three, four, maybe even five billion dollars worth of synergies over the next decade. Possible? Uh, well, the commitment we've made is a billion dollars of synergies, and obviously uh, we're focused on achieving that. And that number is net of the investments in our, uh, for pricing and in terms of the customer experience. We've assumed $1.3 billion investment for customer experience over the next three years. So when you look at all of those things together, you know, it allows us to have a bigger scale on technology. It also allows us to work uh, from a supplier standpoint. Uh, to negotiate pricing as well. So for us, it really is all those things together. Obviously, both companies uh, have a strong track record of merging and being able to uh, bring together uh, different brands, but the same similar culture, same similar values, and benefit the customer. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.